The premium PC case segment is quite interesting, with wildly different designs and layouts. It seems as though case manufacturers decided to ditch everything else and make it a competition as to who can build the most over-the-top PC case and charge an exorbitant amount of money for it. When you're spending good money on anything, you're paying to get a premium product that puts effort in all areas, not just looks. Thankfully, the Fantex NV7 is just that. A high-quality premium dual-chamber PC case that's worth its premium price tag. The Fantex NV7 is part of the NV lineup of premium cases for those looking to build a high-end PC with unique layout without compromising on the important things such as airflow and parts compatibility. The front and side of the case are clear with a seamless tempered glass cover and the bottom base is an angled elevation and looks great while providing a lot of extra breathing room for any intake fans on the bottom. In terms of compatibility, the NV7 can properly support an E-ATX motherboard, so it's ready even for an AMD Threadripper build. Other than that, it's overloaded with options to install fans. You can install a total of 12 120mm fans in the NV7. Three at the bottom, three at the top, four on the back panel, and two for the exhaust. I don't think I've ever seen a case with two exhaust fans, and honestly, I'm not complaining. With so many fans in the case, they don't have to spin fast to push a lot of heat out of the case. They can easily operate between 1500 to 1800 RPM and still maintain excellent temperatures. Moving on to cable management on the NV7. It's some of the absolute best I've seen on any PC case, and it's not only about the backside. The rear of the case is also enclosed with a large cover that hides the rear motherboard I.O., GPU I.O., and exhaust fans. The purpose of this cover is to further hide the mess that usually comes with populating the rear I.O., which sounds great in theory. However, Fantex didn't just make this cover to jam the rear I.O. cables. Instead, there's a frame that holds and roots the cables, so they're neat and out of the way. The back of the case has three compartments. The first is a dedicated resting area for the PSU. The second and third provide ample room for plenty of SSDs and hard disks. Opening up the second compartment reveals the back of the motherboard and has some room to root cables from behind it. There are Velcros running from the top to the bottom of the case, which is a nice touch considering this is usually an added expense when buying a case. I only have two issues with the NV7. First, there seems to be a lot of room between the top of the motherboard and the top of the case. This is a small side effect of fitting two exhaust fans on the rear and four fans on the back of the case. There isn't anything negative about it other than it looks a bit weird. Perhaps a revised design would be more efficient with the space. The second issue, which I think is the main con, is that the case only supports 120mm fans, except for the two at the bottom of the case. This also means that there's no 420mm AIO support, which is a bit disappointing. Sure, a 420mm and 360mm radiator are close enough in performance, but Fantex is charging a premium for this case. Also, when you have so much room already, it's not that hard to design compatibility for 140mm fans. I guess Fantex didn't want the NV7 to creep into the NV9's territory. Overall, the NV7 is a great premium case. You'll be able to fit basically anything in it, regardless of your motherboard, GPU, and cooler selection. With a premium price tag, Fantex decided to deliver a high-end case with practical features, rather than making it a basic enclosure with a fancy paint job. To sum up what I like is the amazing cable management. There are plenty of fans, and it supports E-ATX motherboards. On the downside, there's no support for 420mm AIOs. Ratings, design and aesthetics, 9 out of 10. Cooling performance, 9.5 out of 10. Silence, 
9.5 out of 10. Value for money, 8.5 out of 10. For an overall rating of 9 out of 10.